There are two really important tasks that we need to tick off in today's video. The first task is to do the post. We need to go and put our 20 orders that we had over the last few days into the mailbag, and I'm gonna take you through the top 10 sold items over the last few days. And then we're gonna go out and do some thrifting to hopefully find a few more really good items that we can list and sell for a profit on eBay. It's gonna be a massive day, let's get into it. Okay, coming in at number 10 and number nine, we've got two different DVDs. This one here was a good one, D. Gray Man. I've never heard of that. D. Gray Man, you watched that one before? No, no. I wouldn't even know to get that at no. the shop. Well, this is, it's season one. It's a season one collection only, so this isn't even a complete series set. Um, anime though, really good category. This one's off for $25 plus $20 worth of international postage. Um, that one should cost us about $15 to $20 to ship off. So. Um, cool one there, and then this one as well, sold a number of times before, an interesting one with this one, it's seasons one, and then three, four, five, and six, so we are actually missing season two out of this, and I always recommend that you guys go ahead and just list what you have, uh, and then if, for instance, Courtney and I were out thrifting later on this afternoon, like we'll be doing, and we find a season two, if this hadn't sold, we can update the listing, and we can also find that while we're out thrifting, uh, what we actually need as well by doing a search um, for season two. So. That was a cool sale, that one came through for $30 and uh, we'll be able to ship that one off into a small satchel because there were five DVDs and five DVDs fits into a small satchel pretty, pretty easily. As soon as you get a six DVD, it needs to go into a medium satchel and it costs a little bit more. Um, but yeah, really cool sale for 30 bucks. Let me guess how much these sell for. 31.50. It's good as you know. <laughs> $31 guys, these ones came through for, we've got a World Cup Germany key ring set here. Now there's four different key rings. They're an old Rebel Sports sporting store thing that came out back in the day. It was $16.99. Um, and I've got, these have gone on sale for $31 plus $25 of international postage and they're going to Germany. Uh, this is the 2006 FIFA World Cup Germany key ring. So, Somebody in Germany, clearly a collector, wanted to get their hands on this and I'm able to facilitate it because I've got the international postage option for every single one of my items. Uh, this may have not sold to somebody domestically for quite some time, but by turning that feature on, we're able to get a good turnaround here. So 31 plus 25 for some items that came in the eBay store buyout back in January, February. Um, awesome sale to see because it's not something that I would have given too much value in, but we're able to get a really, really good sale price there with that one. Um, coming in at number, what would that be? Number eight, this would be number seven. Uh, we've got Time Crisis Project Titan. This one actually came off um, Nathan. This was from Nathan, the uh, the big buyout video that we did just last week or, or maybe two weeks ago now. Uh, we went up to the Sunshine Coast, checked into Brisbane to see Nathan. Uh, he had some very good PlayStation 1 games. We were able to buy all of these for $10 each. Uh, and this one went around for $35. So 10 into 35, sell through rate really, really high for this category and we're still able to profit a few dollars. So PlayStation 1 games, make sure you're looking out for those. They're almost instant sellers. All right, so US7, Tiger Oni Sukas, guys. We've got one pair of shoes actually sell over the weekend, but these were a good one. Now, Tiger Oni Suka is something that I'll just naturally grab whenever I see it out in the thrift, uh, or even at the flea markets as well. I've often picked up a few of these. Um, $35, it's actually quite low on the end of what you can normally sell these sorts of shoes for. Um, this is very much an entry level Tiger on Isuka, but they can go upwards of $100 uh, depending on which ones you get. So I, wouldn't, I can't remember the exact price that I bought these for, uh, but I'm rarely uh, paying more than about $15 for a pair of shoes. So I'm going to say about $10 into $35, a bit like the PlayStation 1 game. Uh, a good sell through rate on this brand and this make of shoe, and, uh, and one that I think you guys should keep an eye out for. Yeah. This guy was number five. So we've got a Furby that we picked up off Laura. Um, no, it was Nathan, wasn't it? Nathan, yeah. Yeah, we bought this off Nathan. Um, we paid $20, but I knew, I mean, it sold in two weeks. I knew that it would sell fast. These things are, are absolute collector items. Uh, and it came through for $59.95 plus, was it 20 internationally? Yeah. $20 worth of international postage. So a lot of international sales, as you can see. He's very annoying. And I reckon he's going to get customs um, speaking to him as well when he tries yeah. to cross the border. Yeah. But um, a cool sale, 60 plus 20. That's a really good result considering he paid $20. There'll be some real significant profit in that one. All right, this was number four. We're in the top four now, things are, are picking up a little bit in average sale price. Uh, we've got these Funko Pops, and there were four of them in total. I think this I think this was a complete set. I'm not 100% sure. 
just listed it up as it was, sold it as a group of four, and we got a $60 sale price on these here. Um, so about 15 bucks each. Unless they're rare, um, pops generally go for about $20 worth of retail price. So this was a fairly good deal for this person, getting the full set at $15 each. Um, didn't buy, uh, all of my pops are basically anywhere between sort of seven, five to $7 each. And I've actually bought a lot of pops. If you want to spin the camera here, Courtney, all of these tubs here are full of Funko Pops. So even this one down there as well. So there's a lot of different pops that I'm selling. It's kind of, for me, it's a bit of a bread and butter sort of a category, the Funko Pops. I'm not anticipating a lot of money to come out of it, but I just can't resist buying it because eBay is a collector's marketplace and Funko Pops are one of the true collector type items out there. So it's a category that I like to sell. Do I make a ton of money on it? No, but do, do we get regular sales of Funko Pops coming through? Absolutely. So 60 bucks for this set of four, I think that's a good way to do your Funkos. If you can get multiples of the same show or movie or whatever the case may be, um, that's a good way to sell them because collectors out there are waiting to get the full set of whatever Funko Pop allocation there is out there. <laughs> Podium time now, guys. Number three, this one here. We've got Animal Crossing Wild World on the Nintendo DS. Now, this one was an interesting one. It was off Facebook Marketplace that I picked it up, and I actually went ahead with the massive uh, Facebook Marketplace buy because of this game. This one was the most valuable. It was $28, uh, $68 plus $20 uh, worth of international postage. It went overseas yet again. So many going overseas this weekend, but... Um, if it wasn't for this game, the overall deal on Facebook Marketplace wouldn't have been worth going ahead with. There was a lot of cheap sort of $15 to $20 games, um, plus there was a Nintendo DS console, but I paid a couple of hundred dollars for it. Um, so really happy to see this one coming through in what was probably just a couple of months. It didn't take too long for it to sell. Um, $68, big, big sale price. Happy to see it go. All right, guys, uh, number two spot here, we've got Waking the Dead. We've got seasons one to nine here. Not sure if that's a complete set or not, but um, Waking the Dead, a very good TV show. Um, this one was picked up off Laura, uh, again, just a couple of weeks ago uh, in the bulk buy that we did, and we got an $85 sale price for it. Now, we did pay $2 a piece, and season one, unfortunately, was split into five different DVDs. So five plus eight is 13. We paid $26 um, for this, but we, we sold it for 85, so I'm happy with that. Uh, 26 into 85, you're gonna do every single time, aren't you? So, good TV show, big box set, TV shows uh, is exactly what you want. And look at that, no surprise, BBC, yet again, fast, fast selling uh, DVD set when you find a BBC. Now, before we dive into the best sold item, I do need to quickly say that I post these videos on YouTube every single week, and it's all about educating and learning about how to sell on eBay. If that's something that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. We're so close to 20,000 subs, and with your help, we'll be able to get there. All right, number one. What is it? Number one, guys, Offspring. There it is there. We've got seasons one to seven, the complete series set of this show. Now, a bit of a backstory on this. I did a big W buyout, which is a big retail store here in Australia, and they were cleaning out of their DVDs, and this was the best-selling one that I was able to pick up. I sold about four or five units, and they all went internationally over to the UK or the USA. This one was picked up off Laura a couple of weeks ago, so I used my past experience. I knew that even buying it off her for $14 for seven DVDs, which was the deal that we were doing, uh, 14 was gonna go into a whole lot more. So this one actually turned around for $85, plus we got $40 worth of international postage, and it's going off to the USA. So as you can see by this wall of DVDs behind me, guys, this is a big category that I focus on. Box set DVDs, I've got a lot up there, I've got a lot down here. And this is just another one that's gone on to sell, but Offspring, I can tell you right now, season seven is the hardest one to find. Here in Australia, you can find season one to six pretty easily, but as soon as you find that one season seven, this one alone goes for about 40 to $50. So I think that's where the value lied in all of this. It's just such a ripping TV show to find. So to round that one out, number, ten, uh, number one, we've got the, uh, the Offspring TV show, which was an absolute ripping sale to see. And while we're at it, guys, I'll show you the rest of them as well. Just some really low-tiered items here. We've got a little Mario figure that went for about $15. Another plush toy. I'm slowly getting out of those, doing a bit of a sale on them. Uh, we've got a beanie. We've got a little action figure here, the Hulk. A um, bunch of, like, cheap video games and DVDs there. The Palisers went for $25. Done that a few times. And then $25 on a uh, Marvel Zombies. So these as well, just, again, out of the eBay store buyout. Not something I typically sell, um, but we're able to get a bundle sold for about $20 on that too. So... Corny's going to go ahead and put these all into mailbags. We've got a number of items to list up and, and shoot off into the post today. Corny's not feeling very well, though. She's not feeling great. She's just going to punch through today 
and uh, yeah, hopefully she can get this done in a pretty quick space of time. thing to take away from that postage run is the fact that there were seven international sales that came through so it's it's just a little piece of encouragement in this video for you guys if you're not yet doing international to just just turn the button on activate it work out what those price points are just be really actionable uh, with this opportunity that we get through eBay to, to speak to the world and, and to find a customer overseas collectively uh, all of my sales about 10% uh, come through international postage. So it was obviously a, an enhanced weekend of sales uh, internationally to what I normally do. Um, but those that 10% over the course of a year doing 100, 150 odd thousand in revenue, you're talking 10, 15 thousand dollars in sales that you wouldn't have had otherwise. So I just really recommend that you guys turn it on, give it a go. Um, you'll thank me for it later because you'll definitely start to make a few more sales. What do you feel? This is so achy. Do you want to go home? No. Punch a couple of our um, fast mm. absorbing. Whack a few of them. You want some water? Yeah. You got some? Not good. One of the best things about working for yourself is being able to have lunch, sit down and watch game two of the finals. Big, big Jimmy Butler fan, huge Heat fan. We've got a minute to go on. This is a super close game. So Courtney's ended up going home sick, guys. I definitely think she made the right call. Um, hopefully over the next couple of days, she can be feeling a lot better and, and able to get back stuck into it. Bit of a slow start to kick off this little thrift run but i found this though which was an awesome find this was mash brand new factory sealed the complete series set all 11 seasons on this one and it goes for about a hundred dollars on ebay so for 30 bucks this is going to make a significant profit just what a cool find guys hundred dollar dvd just sitting on the shelf thirty dollars sure it sounds like a lot of money but just through my experience of having done this for a little while now i know that's going to be a forty dollar profit return so uh, it's just as simple as that. It, it is putting in the hours, it's putting in the legwork. You do need to wait around for items to sell, but the money's out there, guys. It all comes down to your effort, your consistency, and just putting in the work. So, um, cool first little start there $100 worth of sales, $40 worth of profit. Let's go and find another couple of hundred dollars more. Got to appreciate the hustle. Hey, guys. What have you got? Some cookies. A tester. It's free. So I can give this a try? Yeah. Okay. It's $2. Or, yeah, a whole one of $2. I'll give you $3.50. For how many? One. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. But you've got, to, you've got to give me your best one. That one the best one? Thank you, guys. Have a good day. They're going to go far in life, those kids. Pretty good cookie, too. Another win in the DVD section, guys. This one here, Harry Potter. We've got a Region 2 copy of the complete movie set. So that one goes into about $30, and I'm paying the $10 in store to get it. I found this as well. This was a champion sweater, uh, multicolored for $15. You could probably push this for about 35 to 40 bucks. Uh, um, the best of the Graham Kennedy show. Um, that one wasn't actually worth too much, but this was The Simpsons. It goes for some very, very big money. Uh, something you guys should be looking for uh, when you're in the thrift store because it's actually surprising how much they're worth. So just a quick one on The Simpsons before we keep moving. If you find all 20 seasons, it can go for upwards of $800 on eBay. It's something I wasn't truly aware of, just how rare these things actually are. I think given the fact I've got a bit of a, a mixed series set here, I might do them individual. Um, I should get about 20 bucks a piece for it. But 
Um, yeah, 17, I think actually 18, 19, and 20, those three seasons alone are the rarest to find. Um, so if you could be finding the latter seasons of The Simpsons, you'll go on to do very well for yourself. I thought this was a pretty cool find. We've got the Nike Kyrie Flytrap basketball shoes. They're only a size seven youth. I like to typically buy bigger sizes, but they were $10 in store. They sell for about 40 to 50 online. So I picked those up. The, uh, the footy shorts, pretty horrendous there at $20. I can't believe thrift stores are doing that. Uh, and these footy boots, footy boots are such a good category, guys. These are the 15.3 Adidas. Uh, they go for about 50 bucks as well. So $10, I thought that was a bit of a steal. Well, guys, it looks like we just beat the rain, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the couple of little items that we found there that I'm going to be listing up right now onto eBay. They'll all be up for sale if you want to go on and jump on and purchase. Actually, don't do that. Get me on Instagram because I always give viewer discounts uh, if you see something in these videos that you like. Uh, just a typical day in the office of a full-time reseller. I mean, you know, YouTube for me is about 30 hours a week, and then eBay as well is about 30 hours a week. Obviously, Courtney putting in 20 hours herself as well. So, um, you know, it's it's a fun gig. I love to do it. I'm having so much fun here on YouTube making videos, and I just can't wait to keep bringing you more and more content. Um, if you missed the last episode, uh, there was a really, really cool find that I was able to make. Um, it was a bunch of designer clothing, uh, genuine designer clothing, which a lot of people didn't seem to think in the last video. That's okay. Everyone gets their own opinion. Um, I'm going to leave that for you right here. So go and check it out. Give us your opinion. Once you see it, let me know your thoughts. We'll see you in the next video.